All right, you're in English 1302. What's this class about? 1302 is an interesting class. Some of you will have taken 1301 here at UTRGV. Some of you took 1301 at STC or even as dual enrollment in high school. Some of you took 1301 or somewhere else completely. And some of you never took 1301 at all because you had AP credit. So we have students with a wide range of experiences coming together to take a class called Rhetoric and Composition II. What does that look like for each of you? For those of you who took 1301 at UTRGV, 1302 will feel like a continuation of that course. We will continue engaging with rhetoric and composition as both a subject and an activity. We will continue to wrestle with threshold concepts. The biggest difference between 1301 and 1302 is that 1302 has a more significant and stringent research component. So let's take a step back and create some context. English 1301 is Rhetoric and Composition 1, but we could call it Writing Studies. English 1302 is Rhetoric and Composition 2, but we could call it Research Studies. In many ways, 1302 will feel like a beefed up version of 1301. We're still working through what it means to be a writer and a researcher and a scholar and how to create writing and composition that is good for the situations that we find ourselves in. However, in 1302, we'll be doing more focused research using primary and secondary sources, employing a citation style and presenting our work in a multiple ways. In 1302, you'll be stepping forward as an emerging scholar to present your own ideas supported by research. Some of the project descriptions will look similar to the projects we did in 1301, but we're going to do them with our new 1302 mindset. What that means is that even if the project descriptions seem familiar to you, our projects will be a degree more sophisticated. After all, in 1302, you've already been through 1301 or some equivalent, right? Finally, we'll continue working with threshold concepts in 1302. You can think of threshold concepts as the ideas about a subject that help make experts expert. Maybe you've heard me say this before. And we'll discuss this more as we move forward in the semester. Here's something I like to say for every class. It seems like a lot of work, and it kind of is, but take a breath. I want you to be successful in this class. In fact, it's not my goal to fry your brain or stress you out. It is my goal to challenge you. If you are worried about this class and can already imagine yourself failing, stop. This class isn't as hard as you're imagining it to be. However, if you think this class is going to be a cakewalk, I think you'll find this class more difficult than that. This class lives between both. It's not super difficult. It's not easy peasy, it's challenging. If you're ever worried about working through the course content, please email me or text me and we'll get everything straightened out.